Hey guys, this is Karthikeya Kantwal from Apex Finsov and I'm back with your daily dose of charts for tomorrow's trading session. Now it was the weekend so I hope that you guys are now fresh and ready with your analysis for tomorrow. For us, uh, starting with the equity side first as usual, what we have on the first trade is a simple uh, support based long entry on SBIN. Now there is a small uh, non-directional pattern formed uh, here as well. If you are uh, you know well versed with your uh, trend lines concept, then you can see that you have a symmetrical triangle formed here. Now there are two ways to take this trade. You could have essentially gone for a long above 360, but that is you know a bit too aggressive considering that we might have a gap opening tomorrow. So we are simply going to go for the nearest roll reversal point at 350, stop loss at 345 ideal targets 1% on the upside. Moving on to the second trade that we have is on HUL. Similar to SBIN, however here the pattern isn't really as strong and uh, we are going to go for a simple supply zone based trade instead of a strong uh, roll reversal based entry at 23.75 stop loss at 2.350 ideal targets 1% on the upside. The third trade that we have is on SIPLA which is a trade that we have carried over from the previous uh, watch list levels. We had a short plan at 900, we have slot, uh, slightly brought it down to 901, stop loss at 912, ideal targets 1% on the downside. The fourth is on MNM where we are going to go for a short entry on, on the basis of again roll reversal. It used to be a strong support however has been broken and uh, roll reversal hasn't exactly happened yet. So we're betting on that for tomorrow, short at 780, stop loss at 790, ideal targets 1% on the downside. The final equity script that we have is on Maruti. Now Maruti is in a flat trading range from about 6400 on the downside to about 6800 on the upside. We're going to go for an entry in the middle of that range where we have a small high 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 low base structure in the following yet. So we're going to go for a long at 6575, stop loss at 6475, ideal targets as usual 1% on the upside. Now moving on to the index side of things, uh, both, the index, both the indices uh, they seem to be in a pretty crucial spot uh, for the short term trend. When I talk about Nifty, I have an immediate trading range from about 14.775 on the downside to 14.875 on the upside. It's a 100 odd points range. If that range is taken out on the downside, we have a steep downfall at least of 75 to 80 points, worst case 150 points. On the upside, you have 14,875 as the ceiling, above that is 14,945 and above that is directly 15,000 which is going to be a big step on our road to further heights. Based on the option chain, I have immediate resistance at 14,900 with 620,000 added contracts, significant of course at 15,000 with 525,000 added contracts. Support comes in at 14,800 with a hefty 1.7 million added contracts, significant at 14,600 pretty far away with 700,000 added contracts. The PCR comes out to be at 0.86 which is nothing to write home about, it's moderately bearish or even barely bearish on the borderline. Nothing special there. Tomorrow is the Monday so I would suggest uh, sticking more with your charts and less with the option chain simply because it's uh, more or less the start of the week so the option uh, writers haven't exactly been pretty decisive in their uh, positions as of now. Moving on to the second index that we have which is uh, Bank Nifty. Now Bank Nifty also has a trading range, however more importantly it seems to have uh, stopped trading at the zone itself at about 32.875 to 32.900. Under that zone the fall will directly stop at 32.500 as per the charts. Above that we have 32, uh, sorry 33.100, above that is 33.400. However this zone is going to be the key price area about uh, 32.825 sell aka 32.895 or 32.900 even. This 100 points odd uh, zone is going to be the decisive uh, price area for tomorrow's short term trend. The only concern here is that the price doesn't open uh, you know, a lot above or a lot under that zone in which case it won't really be the decisive factor. When I talk about the option chain I have 33,000 as immediate resistance with 466,000 added contracts. Significant at 33,500 with 366,000 added contracts. Support comes in at 32,900 with just 82,000 added contracts. Significant at 32,500 with 176,000 added contracts. The PCR comes to be at 0.85, nothing really special same as Bank Nifty. My advice would be to stick more with your charts and less with the option chain just for tomorrow's trading session. Now this marks the end of tonight's video. These are all the charts that I had to share with you guys. As usual, if you want any of this material, you can check out our telegram channel at the rate Apex Finsov. I share everything there every morning so that you can actually make use of these things. 
if you like the videos that we have been posting if you like the content on our channel don't forget to support us by liking the video leaving a nice comment subscribing and clicking that bell notification icon as well i hope you start your week on a wonderful green note tomorrow thank you so much for watching have a good night bye